Sensei Alex Kokuyo, North American contributor for Buddhist Store Global. Thanks for joining me for this episode of The Ordinary Buddhist. The title of today's Dharma talk is Changing with the Snow. Before we get into that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. Right now, there's about a foot of snow on the ground where I live and the temperatures are very cold. It generally stays well below freezing at night and only creeps up a few degrees above freezing during the day. That said, I've found that if I dress appropriately for the weather, if I layer up wearing several layers of clothing, wear insulated socks, winter boots, a heavy winter coat, then it almost doesn't matter how cold the weather gets outside, how high the snow gets, I'm warm and comfortable. That said, this won't always be the case. Eventually, warmer weather will arrive. It will be spring and then summer. Suddenly, the temperatures will be well above freezing, almost to boiling, it'll feel like, and I'll be hot and sweaty each time I go outside. In that moment, I'll need to wear as little clothing as possible, probably a t-shirt and some shorts and some tennis shoes. The key here is that the weather isn't quite as important as we think it is. What's really important is that we choose the appropriate clothing for the weather in question. Cool clothing in the summer, warm clothing in the winter. As long as we keep that straight, everything's okay. However, if I were to try to go out in shorts and a t-shirt while there's a foot of snow on the ground, I'm in for a bad time. This is true of the weather and homesteading, but it's also true of everyday life. Life is constantly changing. We know this because the Buddha 2600 years ago reminded us that everything in the universe, everything we lay eyes upon is impermanent, constantly changing, going through the cycle of birth, aging, sickness, and death. Thus, it is important that we as Buddhists practice discernment, using our inner wisdom to decide what's appropriate in that moment. Sometimes we need a winter coat. Sometimes we need shorts and a t-shirt. Sometimes we should move closer to people and try to build relationships with them. Other times we should keep our distance. Sometimes we should hold on to things and other times we should let them go. There is no one right answer that works in every situation. Rather, it's important that we look at the situation in question and change with the snow, as I like to say. Meaning that we look outside our window, see how much of the powdery stuff is on the ground, and ensure that we react appropriately. Amitabha.